Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is a Dollar Tree haul for you all. Yes, and I'm gonna start with the Valentine's Day items and then I'm gonna make my way across, making my way nothing. So welcome, friends, family, perfect strangers. Welcome to our channel. Um, it's a mixture of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a mixture. And I'm excited with what I found. The first thing I found, we're going to start with Valentine's Day. First thing I found was this, to know you is to love you. To know you is to love you. And these came in three different sizes, large, medium, and like a small. This is what they look like on the inside. This is what they look like on the side. If y'all want to see what they look like on the side. Right there, it's got the topiaries. It's got the little love banner. It's got the gnomes. So there's that. Next up, I thought this was so stinking cute. It says, your heart belongs to me, but it's got the paw prints. Your heart belongs to me. So stinking cute. Your heart belongs to me. Now, this Dollar Tree haul is a Dollar Tree haul with Dollar Plus items. What does Dollar Plus mean? It's a section. Sometimes there's just one row. Sometimes there's multiple rows within the store of the different Dollar Plus items. So I'm gonna share with you that these items that I'm gonna share that are Valentine's related are from the Dollar Plus spot. They are these wood blocks. They've got weight to them. They're not hollow. Okay. They have weight to them. Okay. This first one has kiss me, miss you, love you more, hugs and kisses, be mine, sweetheart, kiss me. Okay. So it's got all these different sayings and guess what? These are going to go perfect with what I already started over there on my buffet table. I'm loving them. So that's the first one. Second one is this, oh, this is red, by the way. Second one is in the pink color. It says, I love you. It's got glitter. I love you. One kiss. Ask me. Back to cutie pie. Text me. Wink, wink. So I'm excited about these to incorporate them with my buffet. And once I do that, I think I'm going to be done because I don't really overdo it for Valentine's Day. Again, it's not my favorite holiday, but remember... On my last haul, I'll put it here in an iCard so you can check it out. It doesn't have to be about love, romantic. It can be about love for your family, love for your grandkids, love for your children, love for your nieces, nephews, love for your friends, love for your family. So it's all good. The last one is like a distressed white looking one. It's got black glitter on it. Miss you. Hugs and kisses. Be mine. Love you more. Sweetheart. Kiss me. Three dollars. I love them and look they're not small you guys they're not small at all look at that so I'm excited about those now let's move on to these items these two items that I found were in the car slash auto department okay the first one is from Vantage it's oh it's an odor eliminator new car fresh erases foul odors from smoke mold food pets what S erases foul odors from from smoke, from mold, from food, from pets. That makes sense. This is for home, auto, boat, or RV. It's eight fluid ounces. That's what it looks like. It's from a company called Vantage. Eight fluid ounces. It's, you know, it's a decent size. It's got the spray bottle. Okay, can I tell you guys something? I can't smell, but I'm starting to get a little sprinkle of my smell back. And from what I'm smelling, that smells actually pretty damn good. It does smell like new car. That's good. Now, again, do not quote me because my schnauzer here is not up to par. My Is that what it's called, schnauzer? My, my nose isn't up to par 100% from the, or one of the variants that I had. I don't know. So, but from what I can smell, then I picked up this Penguin Liquid Shoe Polish in white. I also found it in black at a different store, so that'll be in a different haul. So I have found it now in white and in black, and this is what it looks like. 
I don't know if this Penguin brand is a good brand. It is wrapped really well. And what am I going to use this for? As a shoe polish for tennis shoes because it's white. So there's that. Then let's go to our like shampoos and soaps and that area like they have usually in that area they have like the bath bombs, soap, conditioner, razors, all that. The, the face masks, at least in my store. I bought this. Now, I don't really care for uh, Bath & Beauty. I don't know if that's a name brand or not. I think it's a, a jump, uh, not a general, <laughs> general briar. I don't know if it, I think it's a green briar slash Dollar Tree. Um, I will use it so that it doesn't go to waste, though. This is fresh scent. But the reason why I bought it is I bought it for the bottle, okay, because this is a foamer. Okay, so when you squirt it, it does the foaming. The reason why I bought this is because I could not remember if I had thrown away the ones from Bath & Body Works, my actual bottles from Bath & Body Works or whatever that place is called. Um, but I found from Simply You, and you know that I picked up Simply You, the big 64 ounce bottles in my last Dollar Tree. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it in a haul right up there for you. Also at the end of this video, I put a playlist of all my Dollar Tree hauls if you want to check that out too. But this is from Simply You as well. This is the antibacterial foaming hand wash. Refreshing scent. Helps kill harmful germs. This is 32 fluid ounces. But this is foaming. This is not that thick liquid soap. So you have to have the foaming bottle for this to work. Now, I haven't tried to smell this, and I think they're sealed also. Yes, they're sealed. Let me try. From what I can smell, and again, it's very little. It smells really good, really, like, fresh. Uh, so fresh and so clean, clean. Like, it's a fresh smell. It's not overpowering or anything. So there is that. So that's the reason why I got that foaming one, so that I can do the refills. And my... Dollar Tree that I found these at were fully stocked. Now let me show you what I found also. But since I bought the 64 ounce or the big bottles of the Simply, the You Simply brand or whatever, Simply You brand, I found this that's the Simply You. This one is the liquid hand soap in clear. Now I, last Dollar Tree haul, remember it's up here, I found the big bottles. There was none left when I went though. I did find the little one, okay? I hadn't seen this one the first go round, so I found this one, I picked it up, and so that I know what in the heck it is, whenever I decide to refill, I'll have the name right there, you know what I mean? Now, if that wasn't enough, which was pretty exciting to find this, and I know foaming hand wash doesn't go as far as the actual hand soap, but still, for $1.25, you can't beat that with a stick, so you, you knew I was going to pick it up. Well... I also found, and I saw my cousin Anna is the only person that I've seen hauling these, and I was super excited to find them myself, but I only found two scents or two flavors, maybe, no. For right now, let's just say I found two. I found, I found the Soft Rose and the Gentle Lavender. These are 12 fluid ounces each, if, I can, if I'm seeing correctly. This is the new Natural Prebiotic Moisturizing Hand Soap from Tom's and it says helps support good bacteria to keep skin in a healthy balance. Lavender, rose. By the way, neither one are my favorite scents. I do not care for lavender and I do not care for rose. I don't. Oh, I can smell the rose. Maybe I'm getting my smell back and if I am, maybe I'm going to get my taste back. Oh, and I... I definitely could smell the lavender. That's like a, that's a strong lavender because it kind of leans itself to a medicinal smell. So there's that. I was happy to find them. I was glad to find them. There was not very many of those left on the shelf. Plenty of these. Plenty of these. But these, Tom's brand, not so much. But then again, maybe they didn't get a lot. I don't know. Next, we're going to move on to the beauty aisle. I found these tweezers. I don't know if they're any good. They're from the beauty collection. And as you know, I've already told you I need to clean up. I don't want to hear about it. I already know. 
So let me show you the tweezers and the designs that I picked up. Can I tell you, I can hold 500 cards like this, you know, in my hand, but when I try to hold it where you guys can see it, for some reason, like I can't get my act together to hold it. Not even if you pay me, could I hold it correctly, but I'm going to try. Bear with me. Seriously, like I can't, I don't know what the deal is. If I was holding it facing me, I could hold 500 all day, every day. Here's the designs that I picked up. So I picked up like the giraffe, like in two different patterns, and then that wild animal print, like in a teal, a yellow, and a pink. You're gonna say, why did you pick up so many? First of all, I have three grown daughters, and they all use tweezers. Also, you can use these to pull out splinters. If you've got dead skin and you don't have nails to be able to pull off the dead skin, you can use it. You can use it for your eyebrows. You can use it for chin hairs. You can use it for whatever you like. I says that you can do whatever you like. So um, I just figured if they're different, um, what are they called? Different patterns. Each girl would know which one is theirs. That's the reason why. Next, I got one little thing from the office department or the stationery department. They had these from Jot. They're little holders, pens, markers, scissors, you know, all that good stuff, but it swivels. Now you're not going to be able to see that it swivels because it's got this sticky bottom to it. Hold on. Like the sticker, the price tag, whatever. Let me see if I can take it off real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm so sorry. I should have been better prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Look. So it is like on a lazy Susan, so it swivels. That's Neo Benito for $1.25. I was super excited about that. Then I found in the dishware, kitchenware, aluminum foil area, they had these from Cooking Concepts. They're spatulas with cookie cutters. And they had the round and they had the heart. And it, I mean the star. And when I first saw them, I actually thought that it was a heart. And I was like, oh, these are for Valentine's Day. The red and the red... But no, it's just the heart. It's just the star and the circle, the round cookie cutter. There is no heart cookie cutter, no heart. If they have a heart cookie cutter, I did not find it at my Dollar Tree. I just found these two. I don't know why the hell I keep saying heart when it's clearly a damn star and a circle. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, I really do. Next up. You saw these in a previous haul. I got a second pair. I love the barn and the little windmill and the wheat. Love it. I'm taking those with me on my out of town trip. Probably wear them on the trip up. Now, in the crafty aisle, in the crafty goodness, I found these glass mosaic tiles and they came in two different colors, like this black, clear, white, and then there's like colorful ones. And these are actually, they're like ready to go, I think, like with stickers on the back so that you can just peel and stick. I thought that was pretty good for a dollar. I mean, it's glass. So if you like to craft with mosaic tiles that already have like the adhesive, check out the Dollar Tree because they got them. Now, I got more of these at a different store. I will show you on that haul, but I found these. They're from Momuko. Puffy stickers, you get one sticker in each. The first one is Taste the Rainbow. It's a cute, beautiful little rainbow. I love it. And I love that they didn't put like faces in the clouds, like little smiley faces. I, sometimes, sometimes we just need a plain rainbow, you guys, without adding the smiley faces. Then they had the Donut. I do not care. Then they had the Electric Guitar. And then the last one is the kitty cat going. The kitty cat. Wearing the glasses, doing a little licky lick. That I found, even though they're stickers, I found those in the craft aisle where they have like the crafty stickers and stuff. So that was over there. Then Someone was kind enough to tell me about relaxing and that I needed to look at the Dollar Tree for a relaxing CD. Either a relaxing CD or a tranquil CD, something. Let me share with you what I found. 
I found, I don't know if these are the same or different because I didn't read the back because I was just in a hurry because there were so many. So I was like flipping really fast. I got two of the Backstreet Boys. These are both live concert performances and world premiere releases. And one was in red and one was in blue. Backstreet's back. All right. So I got those. We're going to have fun on our road trip that's coming up. We're going to be playing those. Then I picked up this one that says Secret Machines 10 Silver Drops. Um, I think that this isn't like actual songs because the titles are Alone, Jealous, and Something All at Once, It's Not Impossible, Lightning Blade Eyes, Daddies in the Doldrums, I Hate Pretending, Faded Lines, I Want to Know It's Still Possible, and 1000 Seconds. I'm sure somebody's familiar with this band. At first I thought it was a relaxing cassette or c CD. Then I picked up this one, Relaxing for Women, Relaxation, Relaxation for Women. Then there's Set the Mood Romance. Ooh la la, Romance. I'm not into romance, but you know what I thought? This might be cute for my Valentine's decor. Then I found two CDs over an hour of music. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. It's a two disc set. It says there Hasbro 28 songs. This is what it looks like. It's in this packaging like this. So I got that for the granddaughter. Then I got this one for the granddaughter too. This is from Lifescapes. This is the, nat the Nature's Lullaby Collection. The Nature's Lullaby Collection. Then this is from Solitudes. This is classical spa music for relaxation. Then I picked up this one, Zen Music for Relaxation. It's a two CD value pack. Then I found this one, Springtime in Paris. And I loved the cover. And it says it includes Levi in Rose, I Love Paris, Moulin Rouge, Say L'Amour, Say be bomb and more. I love, love, love the cover of that. And I thought I might incorporate that having to do with my Valentine stuff. If you saw my Dollar Tree haul where I picked up a book that said something about sucking at love, or I don't know what the title was. It was it was like the opposite of like being in love. I already have that with my faux books from Dollar Tree, the three stack. I will show you in pictures so that you can see. And I think I might add this to it. Uh, next one is a soothing ocean surf and gentle rainstorm for relaxation. This is from Solitudes as well, and it is called Dream Waters. Dream, 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 dream. So there's that one. Next one, I thought this one would be cool to play for Christmas. This is a country Christmas. It includes 15 Christmas classics. It also says that it's a CD slash DVD combo. That's what it says anyway. I guess once you open it, one is a DVD inside of there and one is a CD. And it's got a, it's the bonus is plus Howdy Doody Christmas special and more. So there's that. Then I found these. This is Encore, the music of Andrew, Andrew Lloyd Webber with one look, the music of the night, Don't Cry For Me Argentina, Love Changes Everything, Memory and more. And it looks like this. So, the, you know, your normal CD is this. You can see this is something different. It says three CD audio. Okay. And then I found this one. Mojito. Cool summer salsa. And when this was out in the wild, it was $12.99 for three CDs. Mojito. Cool summer salsa. I thought this would be cool to put on and play while we're out in the pool. I don't drink. I'm just kidding. Um, and now we're going to move into the next holiday. And um, I have one item that is the $1.25. And the rest of the items that I'm going to share with you are from Dollar Tree from the Dollar Plus section. So I only got one item from the $1.25 section. I picked up another one of the little ice trays with the bunnies. $1.25 for that, okay, at my store, $1.25. And then, now we're going to go to the dollar plus items. 
Forget Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Forget Michaels. <laughs> Forget the specialty stores. <laughs> Look at what they had. I always forget what these are called, what these are made out of. God dang it, how do I always forget? Hold on, give me a minute. I can't think. You guys tell me in the comment section down below. With the sea fog in my brain, I don't remember. They're not raffia, I know that. I know that's not right. Bristol, no. Oh, it's at the tip of my tongue. I'm going to show you and then you you yell it out and maybe I hear you, okay? It's these. Thistle! Thistle! Thank you. I heard you. I heard you, Susan. Thank you. I heard you, Susan. These thistle bunnies. And it has the tag there that's hanging that says Happy Easter. Do you see it? It's like a little wood tag that says Happy Easter. That That is not the tag. Here is the tag. These were $5. That stays on it. And it says Happy Easter. And then there's this one that has, this one has the fishing pole with the little carrot from it. And this one has like a little daisy with some weeds and it says happy Easter on that sign. Thistle. Now these are expensive no matter where you go. I was, I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of was thinking that these should be $3 at Dollar Tree, but no, they were $5 each. And these are very delicate, like an ear can fall off, a foot can fall off. So be very careful with them. And when you purchase them, tell your cashier, please be careful with them. And please do not put other things in the bag with them. I literally got them and took them because I didn't want anything to happen to them. This next item is a sign, a, like a laser cut wood sign. It was $3 right there, $3. And this one says, bunny treats bunny treats and it's pretty decent size for three bucks so there's that one then I found these two hanging signs the first one is a blue and white buffalo check the second one is like a lime green buffalo check background it's got the bunny with his little tail up in the air one is natural wood the other one is white wood and then the frames are the reverse if the bunny is white the frame is natural and if the bunny is natural it's the frame is white they have the burlap bows on top the metal galvanized signs that say welcome and hello spring welcome hello spring and these were three dollars each welcome signs they have the twine to hang them from three dollars each so there are those then I thought these were pretty cool they're almost like they're pretty thick like almost like shadow boxes now these were five dollars each okay this first one is an, an egg shape and it says our nest is blessed and then it's got the little nest with the little three eggs our nest is blessed and it's like in this robin blue color and again look it's like it's thick it's very well made it's almost like a it almost looks like a palette that's the way i if i had to describe it i would say it's like a palette our nest is blessed. Then this next one, this one definitely looks like a palette. It says Happy Easter and it's got the tin of flowers, like the bucket with the bunny on the front. And then it's got that flowers arrangement and it says Happy Easter. And then the third one, which I think is my favorite, is this one. It has a bunny, but like on the bunny, it's got like sweater material, like a woven sweater. And it says hippity hop, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, sorry, hippity hoppity, $5 each. Tell me which one's your favorite. I'm just curious. Do you like the egg, the hippity hoppity, or happy Easter? I want to know which one is your favorite. You know which one my favorite is. Hippity hoppity, that's my favorite. I do like the Our Nest is Blessed too, but I feel like the wording is real crowded. Like, look, on the top, like, Our Nest is Blessed. It's almost like one word, and I just feel like it's too, too cluttered. Then they had these almost like uh, wooden blind signs. They've got the twine to hang from. This first one is in this beautiful, like, mint green color. It's got the galvanized bunny at the top, and it says, hello. The second one is white 
and it's got a galvanized bunny's tail in the middle, and it says, hop. So you get to pick. Do you like the hello, or do you like hop? And those were $5 each as well. Again, these are from Dollar Tree. They are just from the Dollar Plus section. In the Dollar Plus section, you find items that are $5, $3, but no more than $5. So far, I have not seen anything above $5. And then the last thing that I picked up, what are they calling this? A bunny wreath, endless ways for you to decorate. It's got your hanging tab here. The ears have chicken wire in it in case you want to insert like flowers, dried flowers, um, faux flowers, silk flowers, and then it's got the ring for you to add flowers. I'm going to show you what it, what they show it as, for example. That's an example they show. So with like the burlap, the eggs, the lavender sticking out, and then in the ears, flowers. So this is a DIY bunny frame for you to do it yourself at home, however you'd like. If you wanted to do just faux Easter eggs all around and in the ears you could do that you don't have to do what it's showing you here but again it's true endless possibilities endless designs with this and that was five dollars as well and it's got the moss already on there for you the green moss even on the ears and that is it ladies and gentlemen that is it for this Dollar Tree haul not a lot of variety but I feel like I found a lot of good things that I'm super excited about. And I've got another Dollar Tree haul coming for y'all as well. So make sure that you're coming back, watching the Dollar Generals, watching the Target hauls, watching it all because I need your help. I don't get paid if you guys don't watch start to finish. I don't get paid if you guys don't let the ads play. And even if it's a video like a Scentsy video or a beauty box unboxing that you're not interested in, if you could just play it while you're vacuuming, play it while you're washing dishes and let the ads play, it helps my channel and me very, very much, and it's greatly appreciated. I don't ask. I, I only asked in the month of December. I mentioned about the super thanks. It's like a heart. If you want to donate something to the channel to help me out, especially since I was down and out for three and a half weeks, I would greatly appreciate it, but you don't have to. A lot of people have been asking me privately for my cash app. I don't even know if I'm allowed to give out a cash app here on the channel, so I'm not going to do that, um, and I have not given anybody that information at all like out and about um because again i don't know if you can get in trouble for that here on youtube but i do appreciate y'all reaching out to me about that but no 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 if you can just play my ads and let my videos start to finish that's more than enough help but know that i do appreciate all of y'all reaching out to me so many of you my friends and family here on youtube so sweet so kind to reach out to me privately but no as long as you play the video start to finish and let the ads play I should be okay. I love each and every one of you. Don't let anybody tell you different. And I truly mean it. Let me know what your favorite item was in this haul. Okay. I know I asked for some of the items, but let me know what your favorite item was in general on this haul. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, could you? Would you? It helps me here immensely on YouTube to get referred and suggested out to new friends and family to come and join the channel. If you're not a friend or family member of our channel but would like to be, how do you do it? Just hit subscribe down below. It's free of charge. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. You're part of our family. And there's a bell next to that. If you want to hit that, it lets you know when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.